After designing their initial panels, the students might be encouraged to edit these based on observations. So what I'm going to do is just get rid of this one just by highlighting it and going to the bin at the top. And then after some research, you might decide that these need to be actually very close together. So you can move all these. Now you might find as well that um, a solar panel contains more than one layer on the backing. So you could right click and you could duplicate that. And then you could change the color. So what you would get then is if you look from the side, you would see two different layers. Now it looks as if I've actually changed them both to green, but if I move that, you can see it's red underneath. So what you could do then would be to click on that one, duplicate it, and then move this across. So let's just imagine this is finished now and we want to add a base. So what we have to do is we've got to think about, I'm just going to make this bigger. And I know it's not finished, but I'm going to add the base. So I'm going to just put it like that at an angle, put a box around it. And then I'm going to do what I taught you in video one. I'm going to press shift and then pull this out so that the aspect ratio is the same. Now you'll notice some little curves here and this allows me to actually rotate it. And this would be great because you could talk about the optimum angle in terms of sunlight hitting the panels. So let's just leave it like that for now. And then we're going to think about a base. So it could be a concrete base. So we might want to make that grey. Or you might want to think environmentally. Is there something that's um, better than concrete in terms of use of energy to create it? So there might be a different material. And then perhaps we should have something to connect the, the base to the actual panel. So what I'm going to do is hold down the shift key and move this in to retain the aspect ratio as I change that and make it smaller. And then I'm going to lift that up and that's that cone at the top. So I can, now I made a mistake there, that lifts it off the ground. So I'm going to go to edit and undo. And I don't want to lift it off the ground at the moment, I just want to make it taller. So I'm going to pull that top square. Now I can lift it off the ground. And then I can use my arrow keys to move it around. And then perhaps pulling the whole solar panel backwards over here. Now I need to lift the solar panel up. So I would then use this cone here to lift it up. I'd spend a lot of time just looking around it to check things are central. And I, I would fill this area in here, perhaps with one of these to make the join better. Imagine that's finished. What you might want to do then is to grab the whole of that and then group it and then duplicate and then you should have a second solar panel. So then you can talk about a solar farm and you look, can look at solar farms that are near to your school. Sometimes when I create these I don't do perfect ones to show the children because I want them to say how the model could be improved and that's a useful tip and then just save top left and then that will all be done. Thanks for watching.